Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole and welcome to Ulta Love Your Skin Week 3 Absolutely the best week of the sale. Some quick announcements before we get into the video. If you don't follow me on Instagram, first of all, you should. Secondly, I did post about how we have this points multiplier that is going to apply to quite a few of the items in this sale, which actually brings your price to roughly 66% off. The full explanation is on my Instagram if you want to check that out, but absolutely activate that. It is an amazing offer to see during the sale. Like I said in last week's, when I was excited about the two times the amount of points, this time it's five, five. And some really quick channel announcements. If you don't care about this, I get it. That's the reason for the timestamp, so jump around to your heart's content. Um, but I do want to make some channel announcements, and I feel like we have a pretty decent amount of people that watch this. So, if you leave a comment, I always see that, but if you leave a reply to a comment, sometimes I don't. I have no idea why YouTube structured the system for us in this way, but just wanted you to know that. So, you know, if it ever happens that you leave another question in a reply and I don't answer and you're like, but Alice always answers, why is she ignoring me? It's because I have no idea that you left that comment. Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel so bad. I just went to check the focus on this camera, which means I had to take the card out and go plug it into the computer and make sure everything was looking okay. Now the desk, the, the desk area is over by the chameleon, so I just walk over there with my candier hat on. I'm thinking, you know, the chameleons aren't gonna freak out, right? They're used to me. Oh my gosh, poor Carl, he jumped and then he ran all the way to the back of the cage. He was hiding in the back. I'm like, no, no, I take the hat off. I'm like, no, I'm not a real leopard. I'm a little blurry today, but so is my vision every day. Let's talk about Sunday, January 17th. So we are starting off with the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cleanser Gentle Face Wash. Now I have never tried this, but I've heard so many good things. $14 for a cleanser is absolutely in the range of correct prices for me in terms of cleanser. So if it's a product that you enjoy, I would absolutely grab it now. You guys will have to let me know if that's a creamy one because I'm still looking for a perfect, perfect creamy cleanser. It's back. Oh baby, it's back in this sale. The COSRX Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence will be 50% off and you know I'm going to be buying more. This is one of the absolute best skincare products I've ever tried in my life and probably the product that I would say is my absolute favorite in the category of affordable products. So snail mucin, yes, snail slime as an ingredient contains all of these compounds naturally that chemists and scientists have been formulating into skincare products. And so what ends up happening when you use this pure snail is your skin is so hydrated. It's also a healing ingredient. So if you deal with any kind of skin issues, it really helps to minimize them. It's just so incredible in terms of giving you beautiful skin. I always try to point out that there are some catches with snail. First, the obvious. If you are going to be disturbed by snail slime, it's probably not for you. It is absolutely a slimy product, as you might expect. But also do know that it's possible to have an allergy to snail. I can't remember what it corresponds to. I want to say dust, but I'm not 100% sure. There's actually something that snail allergy corresponds to. If I can figure it out in time, I'll put it on the screen. Otherwise, absolutely one of the best products that you can ever buy. And the reason I call this affordable, even at full price, is because this 3.38 fluid ounce bottle will last you for so long. It's so thick. You know, you use about the same amount that you would use with a serum, except it's a giant bottle. So it is incredibly affordable and incredibly effective. I've been trying other snail-based products and I always come back to this because it's 96% snail. I think that's the advantage that COSRX has over everybody else with snail products. They have the most in here and it's the snail that is the power ingredient. Next up and probably completely changing the mood from the last product, we have the Maley's Cosmetics B Flat Belly Firming Cream. And it genuinely describes itself as having fat burning ingredients. Do you have any idea how much nutritionists hate this? Why diet when you can just slap a cream on? That is absolutely not how this works. 
I don't know if I can get past that claim to tell you about the rest of the product. I, I will try. I will try. I see they've got some caffeine in here, and I do believe that caffeine can help to uh, minimize the appearance of cellulite, but I also think it's only going to be temporary. It's something that seems to work as you apply it, but I don't know about long-term effects. Uh, Pink pepper slim, a patented ingredient that encourages fat burn. Please, please know, know that no cream is going to burn fat. If these kind of products worked, everybody would be using them, everybody would be raving about them. It wouldn't be like, oh, this is this undiscovered thing that's definitely going to help you. Anyway, if you don't know this, I studied nutrition, and yes, this kind of thing is exactly my pet peeve. And then we have the Zitstika Skin Discipline, which is a probiotic supplement. I considered this, but I've talked myself out of it. I'm going to tell you why. So you guys know I always talk about the Hum Nutrition Skin Squad probiotics, right? Well, I considered this because it too is supposed to be a probiotic supplement along with a little bit of zinc, chromium, some B vitamins in here. However, after looking at the ingredients in here, the strains, and looking at the colonies, it just... It just doesn't compare to Skin Squad. Skin Squad may be $40, this will be $22 in the sale, but if you really look at it, you get so much more from Hum's Skin Squad. It's 40 billion CFUs as opposed to 10 billion. And I swear, every time I stray from that Hum probiotic supplement, I always regret it. You know, I, I want to try these other brands and give them a chance, but Hum does it so well with those very carefully chosen strains specifically for acne. Uh, but yes, for the record, I absolutely do think that probiotics can help with acne depending on the cause of your acne. If it's related to a gut microbiota issue, it can be a great solution. But I just, I, I can't recommend you this over Hums because it's, again, just so well done in comparison to everything else I've seen. Monday, January 18th, we have two products from Skin Iceland. We have the Hydrocool Firming Eye Gels, which I've talked about a lot. I love that these are sticky and they are very, very smoothing. Not going to be the most hydrating, but excellent for smoothing. Uh, we also have the Dissolving Microneedle Eye Patches. So I finally tried these. I was scared. I was actually scared to try these because of the word microneedle. I have told you all in the past, I am a big baby about the word needle just in general. So I was terrified about putting this under my eyes, but I finally did it so I can finally tell you about it. And I'm actually very tempted to stock up on this in particular. It doesn't hurt. It does feel odd. It really does. You do feel a slight poking sensation, but it's not painful. Uh, one thing I'll tell you is I actually put them on backwards initially. So what you have to do is uh, you have this backing on it, right? So you pull that off, but the initial backing that you would think is the full backing is not. The other side actually is. It's a, a thin strip that goes around. That's the part that's sticky on those, and the whole inside is the microneedling system. But holy smokes, this actually blew me away. So you know how I said you get smoothing from the Hydrocool Firming Eye Gels? With this, you get that smoothing, and it lasts and lasts and lasts. You know, I've got a very expressive face, I'm sure you've noticed. So I tend to look better in the morning than at night when I've been making faces all through the day. But since this is delivering hyaluronic acid deep into your skin, it's like my skin was just so bouncy. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really blown away. They're really expensive, $10 each. Oh my God, I just double checked the $14. $14 each. However, 50% off and also uh, the skin fatuation points multiplier works with these. So you get three times the points. So I think I'm going to, no, I know I'm going to buy more. Did any of you happen to get the gift with purchase that went up? What day was that? I think Thursday that had some of these in there. You'll have to let me know if you have the same experience that I did with these. I'm actually very impressed. I really hoped that I wouldn't be since, you know, $14. I've griped about $5 each eye patches, 14. And then we have quite a few acne treatments from Mario Badescu. Normally I would tell you to grab the Kate Somerville Eradicate product like the drying lotion, but this is a way better deal. The reason I would say Eradicate usually is because the, the ratio of sediment to the solution here is better in Kate Somerville's, but for this price, combined with the 5X points multiplier, 
even I'm gonna stock up. Do you want to know something I'm guilty of? I'm actually terrible at stocking up on acne products even though I have acne because I always tell myself that every pimple is going to be my absolute last and it's the strangest thing that I do because I'm not like this about anything else. I'm not like this about my vision. I know I have to put in contacts or wear glasses or I'm not going to be able to see anything. So I rationally know my vision's not going to be better tomorrow. I have to make sure I always have glasses or contacts. And yet, I tell myself this with acne. I have no idea what it is. But as for drying lotion, it's really one of my top recommendations for acne, especially if you have the more inflamed acne. It doesn't do much for small little whiteheads or small blackheads. It's very helpful for the, the deeper type, the more inflamed type of acne. Silver powder, I don't recommend. It's way too messy. You will breathe it in. I mean, it's powder. You, you will breathe it in, and I don't recommend you breathe in your skincare. Uh, I've never tried the buffering lotion. Now that I've looked at the ingredients, I see why I've never tried it. It doesn't look like it's going to be as effective as a salicylic treatment or even a sulfur treatment, which is what the drying lotion is. It looks like it just kind of dries out your skin with isopropyl alcohol as the first ingredient, but I don't know. Let me know if any of you guys have enjoyed that product. The Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Pore Fining Face Mask. I have tried this. I think it's fine. It's just, it is a clay mask. Uh, it does have some licorice, aloe vera, kadaku plum. I, I kind of feel like this one was overhyped or maybe not even overhyped. Maybe the word for this is it, it just, it was all over social media for a while. Uh, and you know, and again, it's fine. I just uh, think there's a lot of comparable products. Also does have uh, some fragrance and some essential oil ingredients. But hey, if you like it, this it is a great price. 20 bucks for that is a great price. And then the Lancome Genifique U Eye Cream. Uh, I've had a lot of you ask me what my favorite eye cream in this sale is. I don't really have one entirely. I, I think my favorites are on the Sephora site, unfortunately, but this one does look pretty good. This one has bifida ferment lysate, pretty high in the ingredients, some vitamin C in it. The price isn't too bad. You know, that's definitely better than some of the others we've seen. The price on this one is 67 at retail. So yeah, actually, this might have to be one of my top picks for the eye cream. There's gonna be another one on Saturday that I like, but yeah, I, I'd be interested in knowing how you guys feel about this one, if you have tried it or not. Tuesday, January 19th. I didn't even pull these products out because I have a dedicated video to these. So if you want a lot of information, we will have the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Serum and the Reboot Mask. And you can click the corner of the screen and watch my rather long discussion of those. But basically, Oh my gosh, this is one of the best times to buy this that I've ever seen in my life, and those are my two favorite products from the brand. This is specifically the breakdown that I did on Instagram, how you end up getting around 66% off back. Oh my goodness, I am going to buy them. I'm going to buy them, there's no way I'm not. What did it come out to, 13.65, something like that for the Glass Skin Serum? That's such a, such a good price. 50% off the Beekman 1802. Bloom Cream Daily Probiotic Moisturizer. This is a brand that I swear this came out of nowhere. And then the second they appeared on the Ulta website, suddenly everyone was like, I absolutely love this brand. And I was so confused because I'd never heard of them before. But I do like probiotic ingredients and I also really enjoyed, you remember Kate Somerville's goat milk line? And this is a goat milk based product. So I'm, I'm really curious about this. Some of you have told me you've had breakouts from this and some of you have told me it's an absolutely incredible moisturizer. So I'm, I'm real 50-50 on whether I should try this, but shoot, I'm already buying the Peach and Lily. I'm probably gonna end up trying this. I've, I've been curious for a while. These ingredients look incredible. In addition to that goat milk and probiotics, we've got honey, aloe, all kinds of uh, antioxidant ingredients, gluconolactone, even kindness. They put kindness in the ingredients? How do you bottle it up? 50% off is such a good deal too. I'm about 90% certain I'm gonna commit to this. It's just that a couple of people have said they had breakouts with it that, you know, I just said I have acne prone skin. That makes me nervous. 
The Strivectin Intensive Eye Concentrate for Wrinkles. So Strivectin's whole approach is basically, it's, it's basically niacinamide. It's an ingredient that's very similar to niacinamide. So if that's an ingredient that works really well for you, you might, you might actually love not just this product, but this brand. Um, I do wish that they would use a few less potential irritants, uh, but otherwise, it does look like a nice formula, lots of peptides in here, caffeine, squalene. See, this is the thing, I don't really have just one specific eye cream to recommend to you. They're, they're all different, and it, you know, it, it's that case of knowing what ingredients work best for you is gonna help you find the best product for your needs. Wednesday, January 20th, we actually have some makeup in this week's deals. We have the Dermablend Flawless Creator Liquid Foundation Drops. Unfortunately, I have not tried those. I have no clue how they are, so let us know in the comments below. And then we have the Tools. I guess this day is just called Tools, but it's one of those multi-brands that we often seem to have on Wednesdays. So we have the Skin Gem Jade Crystal Facial Roller. Okay, so I actually do like these jade rollers, rose quartz rollers, I like them, or at least I did like them. I just found them to be very relaxing for me. You know, I don't think it's anything life changing, but I enjoyed using it. It amped up the enjoyment for my skincare routine. That's really what I felt from these, but surprisingly, surprisingly in a very strong way. They're cool to the touch and it just feels so relaxing to use these, but realistically, I don't really use mine that much anymore because my Foreo UFO has replaced that need. The Foreo UFO has that cold setting on it and then I'm, you know, massaging it all over my face. So it just kind of does for me what that does, which is why I'm glad I didn't buy the Nurse Jamie Uplift Facial Massaging Beauty Roller. I tried to get it in a past 21 Love Your Skin event or 21 Days of Beauty, but it sold out. So if that is something you're interested in, Know that it sold out last time. Don't know how this time is going to be. But also know that, you know, the possibility to upgrade exists. So you have to ask yourself, am I going to upgrade or is this, you know, something that I just want to try at the Skin Gym price, $16. See if I like it. Hopefully that explains those. You know, ultimately I think they're uh, for enjoyment purposes or relaxation purposes. But I don't ever want to deny that that actually as somebody who loves psychology, that's actually very powerful. It really is. We also have the Dermaflash Lux Dermaplaning Exfoliation and Peach Fuzz Removal Device. I've heard quite a few of you say that you do enjoy these. I'm finally truly at the point in my life where I do have to shave my face. If you're watching this and you're younger, someday it will happen to you too. But honestly, I still use the cheap disposable ones that I get from Big Lots, uh, so, let me know if this really is next level, if it's really worth $100 in the sale, you know what I'm saying? Plus, I think you would have to keep buying refills, so that's another part of this to keep in mind. You may get the deal up front, but you'll have to buy the refills later. Let's move on to Thursday, January 21st. So we have the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I reviewed this ooh, about a year ago. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, you absolutely don't need this. There's a lot of comparable cleansing balms on the market, but if you love a good smelling cleansing balm and the experience of removing your makeup and SPF, Elemis does it well. We have both the Rose and the Original, which is the one I have. I personally prefer the Original, which just smells like essential oils, whereas the Rose, I don't like the smell of Rose very much, so obviously I don't like that one as much. Um, but definitely do know that means it contains essential oils in a washed off formula, which some people can use more easily than others, typically including me, thankfully. But some people still can't because again, remember that allergy threshold situation we've been talking about. We also have the Too Faced Hangover Good To Go Skin Protecting SPF 25 Moisturizer. I always get awkward when talking about Too Faced because I don't buy from the brand anymore, so it's odd for me to have to talk about them. I did enjoy their skincare back when I still used the brand, but just know that this is a, it's a chemical SPF. First of all, SPF 25 is a little on the low side and also it's in a moisturizer. I would personally say, you know, have a moisturizer and then your SPF on top of it, but to each their own. 
And we also have the Dr. Brent Needles No More, No More Baggage Eye Depuffing Gel, which I've never tried, which is hilarious because Ulta actually gave me a gift with purchase. They gave me a full size of this, but I had so much, so much eye cream that uh, I put it in a giveaway before trying it. So let me know. Let me know if I uh, made a mistake there or not. Sharing is never a mistake. In fact, today I got a text message that uh, the person I gave the e.l.f. oil to finished it. And I was like, that just makes me happy. I am so happy that the products I decluttered are not just getting used, they are getting finished. Friday, January 22nd, we have 50% off the tart maracuja oil. I feel like I very often forget that I actually love Tarte's skincare line. I really do. It's actually wildly underrated and the maracuja oil is very nice. So this right here is the little travel size. Uh, when we went camping, I, th I thought I had everything packed perfectly. Uh, last minute I was like, oh, I got this little mini oil. That's cute. Let's take it camping. And I'm so glad I did because I ended up really needing this oil. And also it reminded me that it's actually a great oil. Maracuja oil is a beautiful oil, very rich in linoleic acid, very high in vitamin C, and yet very lightweight. So it's actually a fantastic choice for, you know, kind of everybody. I have to resist buying more, even though I seem to want to own all of the oil in the entire world. But yes, do know if you don't have a large oil collection, Maracuja is a great option. 50% off proactive skin smoothing, exfoliator, and skin purifying mask. I hold a grudge against proactive, which is why I don't buy from them. If you uh, Google some of their controversies, you'll understand why. If the brand works for you though, you know, of course use what skincare works for you, but do know that the proactive brand is always in the Alta sales. We've got Clinique coming through again with some of the lowest prices on anything in the sale. So we have the liquid facial soap, three different varieties, which will all be under $10 in the sale. And then we've got Clinique for Men face wash, two different formulas there, you know, just for, for any men who are uncomfortable with their skincare and packaging that isn't black. Personally, I think it is quite the BDE if you are a man that has no problem using skincare products in pink packaging. That is a complete and total lack of insecurity, I'm just saying. And then we also have the 50% off Florence by Mills Swimming Under the Eyes Gel Pads. I'm actually tempted by these. Okay, 17 bucks, 30 pairs of admittedly cute little patches. Sure, you don't need them to look like whales, but it's kind of adorable. But the thing is, the ingredients actually look amazing. She kept this fragrance free. It's pretty low in irritants. It looks like it's just going to be a hydrating formula. It's got niacinamide in it as well, allantoin, coconut fruit extract, and not to be confused with the oil. Lots of antioxidants in here. It kind of looks amazing. She got so much flack for her beauty line, and I just never felt like she deserved it. She and Elise Keys. I never felt like they quite deserved the flack, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very curious. I might end up buying these. Saturday, January 23rd, we have the Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar Refreshing and Refining Moisturizer. I did try this. I remember enjoying it. I actually enjoyed the Philosophy line, and I will say you get a lot of product here. It will be, you know, less than 20 for two ounces of moisturizer. So again, this is another one that's a great deal. It's not fragrance free and it is a silicone based formula, which not necessarily a bad thing, but just something to note if you otherwise use a silicone free routine. But you know, it, it, it looks all right. It looks all right. It'll give you some uh, good occlusive protection. It's got some mandelic acid in it as well as antioxidants. So it looks all right. Uh, I just, it's, it's personally not an absolute favorite for me anymore. And yet it's one of those cases where I can understand why somebody might love this. But in my at least past favorites, I really do like the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and depuff. I like this because first of all, it's beautiful. It's one of those eye creams that if you don't wear makeup, it really brightens your under eye area. I like the price, $16.50 in this sale. And these days, I don't think you need to spend a lot on eye cream. You certainly have options to, you know, keep your price under $20 and still buy a really nice eye cream. Does have some caffeine in it. I'm doing this entirely from memory. Hold on. Let me pull up the ingredients and make sure I'm correct. Yes, caffeine, peptides, antioxidants, ginseng, which I'm going to rave about on this channel very soon. 
Not next week, the week after. But on the whole, do you need eye cream or is it a scam? You know, I think that if you enjoy eye cream, you can find them at whatever your budget is. You can buy La Mer if that makes you happy. You can buy eye creams that are $6 to $16.50 and really enjoy them. And quite frankly, I really do like the pretty effect. You know, of course it's just a cosmetic effect, but it's so nice to just put your eye cream on and look in the mirror and like the impact that it gives you. So yeah, that's actually, it's still a product that I, I quite like. It's controversial for me to say that because Origins is a very scented brand, so yes, this is a scented product, but typically I can use fragrance with no problems around my eyes. It's the strangest thing. We have the PMD Personal Microderm Pro. I, every time this is in a sale, and it is quite often, I always go back and forth with where I feel, where I stand on this. It's because I don't necessarily think that you need any skincare tools, and yet the reality is that I do really like the skincare tools that I have. I really like my Foreo, I really like my UFO. So, you know, it, it may be a case of if it's something that sounds really interesting to you, it may be worth it, but you just have to ask yourself if you're gonna use it. I think that's what it really comes down to with any tool. These, this is still $100 in the sale. If you're going to use it consistently and you're going to enjoy it, then it could be worth that $100 price tag. But I've also heard a lot of people say specifically with this that they bought it and then just didn't use it. And that's what I try to caution people out of doing, you know, don't drop $100 to burn it. Let's be honest here, lighting a $100 bill on fire and watching it burn is in fact more entertaining than wasting your money on a product you don't like. So, you know, you, you got at least two choices for what to do with the $100. And the very last product, the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular 2-in-1 Cleanser, which I have tried. It has quite a, uh, a natural scent to it because the ingredients list is very, very natural. By which I'm saying, if you're one of those people who's sensitive to natural ingredients, you may not enjoy this product in the slightest. But again, you know, this is a rinse off product and some people find they can use that. Uh, again, like I said, last Juice Beauty product, I actually did like the brand. It kind of surprised me. I've liked a few of the more natural brands. So, you know, again, if it's a product you enjoy, keep using it. But is it something to necessarily splurge on? Again, like the conversation I had in the Peach and Lily video, this is a lot of those antioxidant ingredients, a lot of those plant-based ingredients that we don't know how long those take for your skin to absorb. So just something to keep in mind. But again, if the cleanser itself is enjoyable to you, by all means, grab it in the sale. That's the end of the Ulta Love Your Sale event. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this one. Are you as excited about week three as I am? Did you find some nice new products or did you just give the whole thing a big old pass? I will go ahead and put up a haul of everything I bought in this, probably a, in a little bit though. I like to test products for a while as opposed to just show you packaging. So that haul will be coming eventually. I don't know if I'm gonna have a haul uh, for the entire month of January because I exhausted all my hauls in December. But nonetheless, will be coming. And that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.